is a lot of people think that you they want to be the next Facebook and it's sexy. They want to be the next Uber. They want to be the next that. And reality is that, you know, it is unicorn status that lasts. You know, unicorn status that lasts. So you reach unicorn and you're still around two, three years later. A lot yeah. of companies have reached unicorn status. Where are they right now in the last year? But you actually have lasting company that had to continues to grow and so on. Um, it's very, very rare. So yeah. when I look at it, it was like, well, um, Let's put a lot of money and let's just, you know, dilute ourselves heavily and then take a huge risk and become number one. Mm. And I honestly think that because I took a lot of time to figure some things out as well, I may have run into the ground. I don't think then four or five, five, six years ago, I don't know what the heck I was doing okay, from an agency to running a SaaS and so on. Now I have a very good idea of how to do things, still figuring some things out. We have a much clearer idea, roadmap. Um, anyway, so that's how I think I just, you know, believe for those listening in that you're at the very beginning and you want to create that next startup and so on. You don't have to immediately think of raising, focus on your product, focus on the solution, and then get it to a certain stage that you could get better valuations if you decide to go later on, less dilution and so on. So that, that's kind of my thought process, but others may disagree. 